consider subscribing for more in future content. Explosive Reactive Armor, A Discovery of War. But what can be done to stop shaped charges penetrating a tank turret? This type of warhead can penetrate approximately 300 millimeters of steel. That means it can penetrate one, two, three layers of steel. So it's a very, very dangerous threat. Young Manfred Helt went to the Middle East after the Six Day War of 1967 to test shaped charges against the armor of wrecked tanks. He saw it as an opportunity to work with real armor out in the field. As he filmed his work, he noticed some tanks were less damaged after the explosion. He realized that his charge had detonated the munitions stored in the turret. The blast had somehow canceled out the force of his shaped charge. Manfred had stumbled on something with amazing potential he'd hit on what he called explosive reactive armor. Explosive reactive armor consists of a sheet of high explosive sandwiched between two steel plates. When a penetrating weapon hits it, the explosive layer forcing the two metal plates apart, repelling the incoming missile. It's one of the more recent concepts in armor. Manfred Helt's design comes in the form of explosive boxes fixed to the outside of a tank. It's one of the more recent concepts in armor. At exactly the same distance, at exactly the same target. With explosive reactive armor, is that anyone outside the tank is in danger of being hit by flying shrapnel. This evolution has been an armor anti-armor, mobile protected firepower against the enemy's count. I think you're always going to have a tank-like vehicle. Hell, let's not call it a tank anymore. I don't care. Call it a horse. Гранаты будет комплекс Арена. Состоит он из трех основных элементов. Прежде всего, это РЛС кругового обзора. Также защитные боеприпасы, расположенные в пусковых шахтах. Ну и, конечно, вычислительная техника, которая всем этим управляет. to keep this machine of war, the tank, in the front line.